Hello everyone. So it's official. There's a new CEO for Twitter. I didn't think it would happen so quickly, but it sounds like one is on the way. So I got an article from Reuters. Let's check it out and see what uh, has been said. Headline is Elon Musk says he has found new Twitter CEO. May 11th. Elon Musk said on Thursday he has found a new chief executive for Twitter without naming the person and that he will transition to the role of chief technology officer of the social media platform within the next few weeks. Excited to announce that I've hired a new CEO for X slash Twitter. She, she will be starting in six weeks, Musk said in a tweet. Here's the tweet here, Elon Musk, set it to announce, starting in six weeks, my role transition to exec chair and CTO, chief technology officer, overseeing product, software, and system operations. So Reuters goes on to note uh, Tesla's shares had taken a hit after Musk took over Twitter in October and investors had said the move could stretch the billionaire thin. The boat anchor called Twitter is loosened from Musk's ankle. Now he can get back to spending more time creating value at Tesla. Craig Irwin, analyst at Roth, MKM said, I'm not so sure that this will have too much effect on the shares. Might go up a little bit tomorrow on this news, but I think it's going to be short-lived. Elon's first two weeks as the new Twitter owner in October were marked by rapid change. He quickly fired Twitter's previous CEO, Parag Agrawal, and other senior leaders, and then laid off half its staff in November. Musk, a self-proclaimed free speech absolutist, has said he took over Twitter to prevent the platform from becoming an echo chamber for hate and division. He also said he would defeat spam bots on the platform, a key area of his tussle with Twitter's board over his back and forth on the $44 billion buyout of the company. So pretty interesting. Uh, there'll be a new CEO for Twitter. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough who that is. And yeah, I think this could have a positive impact in, on the on Tesla shares in the short term. Let's actually, let's check in what the after hours is doing right now. So yeah, it looks like when this news was, was released, it was I think around three, 3.30 this afternoon or so, so just before close, yeah, you see that shot up from about 170 up to 173, and now in after hours trading, we're at 174.49. So it closed up 2.1%, and then post-market, it's up another 1.3%, 1.4%. But I don't, I'm not sure this will make a huge difference. I think when Twitter was purchased by Elon, the stock was already heading down, and unfortunately, Elon sold shares in order to purchase Twitter, so that drove it down a little more. But overall, the market, all tech stocks were heading down at that time. So I'm not so sure how much the market really was worried about Elon taking over Twitter. So on the flip side, now that he's not the CEO, even but he'll still be involved, um, I don't think there'll be a huge, you know, weight that's lifted from Tesla shares because Elon is no longer CEO there. Initially, yeah, we already see like reaction is positive because yeah, Elon will have more time for other things. But I, I think I think investors already realized that Elon's doing fine at Tesla and he's very good at managing his time and all his companies so not so sure this is going to have a i could be i hope i'm wrong i'm a tesla shareholder but i don't see it being a huge positive catalyst in the long term short term yeah we could see a spike which which yeah we already have just before closing today and in after hours we're seeing it uh shares trade higher so that's it for this evening Breaking news, we got a new CEO coming for Twitter, and Elon will just be the chief technology officer now. So my name's Evan Bertrand, this is the Evergreen Channel. Subscribe if you like by clicking on the wheel, give the video a like if you liked it, and thanks for watching.